Virgos, hello, welcome. This is your December 2020 reading, um, Sun, Moon, Rising and Ascending for Virgo. Um, let's jump right into it. We're going to see where sort of like the things that you're coming from. Um, the sort of like 3D things that are not quite working for you, where you're going towards the things that are really working for you, the things sort of in the middle that you need to overcome the 40, uh, then we're going to end up for you with a message from the universe and also draw you an oracle card. Okay, so the focus here is for December 2020, a little bit early but it gives you a nice time of prepare. Now I want to tell you right away because again I'm looking at it even as I'm splitting the cards, um, while I was preparing for your reading, I kept on seeing the magician over and over and over and over and over for you. Like it kept on popping out and falling out and you know, um, as I was sort of preparing your reading for you. And there the star sort of flipping. So something this should be an interesting reading. <laughs> Let's see what's happening over here. Okay. Alright. The star came out again. It came out in the reverse position though for your current energy. That's too many cards. So let's start off by looking at the at the 3D. Something to do with life. It's almost like you gave your heart. Um and at the moment it's almost like things might be dwindling away a little bit. Um, I don't know, but it's almost like they don't quite know how you feel. They don't quite understand the velocity of your feelings. Maybe you didn't tell them or didn't explain well. But it's it's like hope is dwindling away here for you. All right. Oh, let's look at the let's look at the three the recent parts. They're the magicians again. These cards fell out the whole top of them. So it's just too many to take. But the magician was on, was on top again. So that is definitely a reminder for you. Um, that things may, you know, just because you feel that things are, you know, completely lost and, you know, sort of gone with the wind, doesn't necessarily mean that it is, you know. Sometimes, you know, with emotions and as, as human beings, we feel things quite strongly but just because you feel things a certain way and you're convinced of things a certain way it doesn't really mean that you're right it could be wrong okay all right if you like my beautiful funky um thumbnail was made by my best friend and there's a link down below for in the description if you want to check it out it says ac digital marketing solutions she does all my graphic design and my social media management and doesn't my channel just look fly? Okay. All right. Let's look at this because I feel this is this is kind of serious. So, put on my serious head. Let's see what this got here for you. You've got the Hierophant. You've got the Eight of Swords, and you've got the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles kept on coming out as well. So, Hierophant. Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. I'm going to draw you one more card. It almost feels like um, there was a, there was a lot of hope here, a big sense of hope. Um, you know, if this has got to do with love, or you know, it could have quite to do with money because with the Pentacles here. But you felt that something was going to sort of ah, bottom of the deck. Okay. Definitely bad. So you felt that a certain so there was there's a situation that was already on the table here. What was that? I need to know what that was first. This is an interesting reading. Something was already on the table here. So this was not a brand new situation. So you've got the three of pentacles, and I'm gonna draw you one more card for that to understand it better. So we've got the Three of Pentacles and something flipped over, Page of Swords. So there was some sort of, you know, new 
potential situation. It's almost like you wanted to you wanted to go towards something new or someone new um, towards, but your decision was dependent on something else. Okay, so there's probably more than just yourself involved. You know, maybe other people were sort of like you know um, heavily affected by your decision, um, in your perspective at least. You know, there's, there's quite a lot of consideration that's happening over here. I feel like you may have been overthinking the situation, but, um, you know, it is what it was. And, um, um, you kind of, it's, it's almost like you got some sort of bright idea, you took some sort of chance, but you felt that this now placed you in this very strong position to go towards, you know, where you wanted to go. This new sort of opportunity, this clean slate. Um, and somehow money, time, life was an issue. All right. So you, you felt, you thought initially that this would set you free, but in a sense, you know, when you look in the mirror or stuff like that, you still sort of saw that very trapped person who doesn't actually have a way out of the situation. And um, so you may have kind of like adopted a more sort of um, demure sort of attitude of like, okay, well, it's, it's not going to work out, you know. Um, it's probably not meant for me. Maybe... I'm never going to be happy. Maybe I'm never going to get to experiences. And this really drained your energy. In fact, especially if it's a, you know, and I do get a very strong sense of love here, um, of hope, um, peace of mind, whatever you felt was going to work for you, it's like you could literally see that hope dwindling away. And that in itself did not affect you in a very positive way. However, the death card confirms for you that what you initially thought was, um, you know, your sort of breakthrough, in actual fact was, you know, um, you weren't actually wrong. Um, there was just, there was, there was a lot of emotions involved there, strong emotions involved there, okay? Let's just see, I want to draw you one more card for that. Four of Cups. Um, it's almost in a sense like you knew this was the perfect solution for you but you didn't want to hope you didn't want to accept it you um it's especially if it's with love somebody could have actually come to you and you know either openly said that you know this is how they feel or you could tell it through the actions um uh, and it's like for a moment you would allow yourself to feel that, but you it's almost like you refuse to feel the positivity of what you really want them to feel. And so now you kind of with the with the star in reverse, you kind of feel like you know what? Maybe maybe I shouldn't have let that one go. Maybe I shouldn't have let that situation go. Um, you're sort of feeling like all hope is lost now, that, you know, that you might have made the greatest mistake of your life, um, that it's not going to happen now. It's, you know, you sort of missed that train. And, you know, if you take the next one, it's kind of going to be too late. This is, this is definitely, it's, I, I feel that... Um, this feels like a missed opportunity and especially if this is love or maybe a promotion at work or it's, it's something very personal to you, you know, that you kind of feel that the best thing you can do right now is to just get over the hurt, get over the pain, move on. You can't really see how you're actually going to do that. Um, because now in the sense of this sort of like adversity, you know, where this this is the weird thing about life sometimes that um, now that it seems that all hope is 
lost you know either this person's probably going to move on to someone new for some of you it's almost like you feel like this person's like above you now um i want to tell you this i feel like a lot of this is actually in your mind you know um you you're sort of putting up the barriers um you know you would call it being sober being proactive um being clear about life but you're putting up barriers you're basically telling yourself um you're lying to yourself you know you may not you may not mean to do so deliberately but um you're giving yourself reasons why this can actually never happen you know right let's see what is coming towards you and then there's just a whole lot of cards falling all over the place <laughs> what's coming towards you and what it is that you need to do in order to actually get that one more card so you've got the hand man which also presented itself quite a lot of times there page of ones releasing expectation and the judgment card okay that's that's very really good getting one more card just gonna take the top one because those are too many the queen of swords so some of you have been a little bit bogus, <laughs> you know, a little bit out of your mind here. Um, so in, instead of chasing, you are stopping, you are now, some of you are going to be like, what am I talking about? You're sort of throwing caution to the wind. You're like, you know making all this lists and all this planning and all this precision didn't really quite get me what I wanted to get. So there's a sense of actually letting that go. It's like a new sense of logic. That previous almost, uh, you know, in many ways, overly cautious version of yourself. You're letting that version go, okay? Um, because you are realizing how, in a sense, you are not always serving yourself in the best possible way when you are so overly precise and overly cautious about things, okay? Um, there's a more of an air sort of energy coming here, you know, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius um, sort of energy. Release, letting go. What is this card that went flying? There are two cards that went flying for the current energy. So the star that's in reverse there, and then you've got the lovers, and underneath, the, or the lovers was underneath, the five of swords was on top. Hmm. Okay, wow. So you know, especially with this love connection, because this has clearly got something to do with love. The thoughts coming up in your mind are just plain dark. <laughs> you know? Um... You were ready to embrace the situation, this person, in ways that it's making your head spin. Like, you can't even believe that you are this sort of gaga in love. You know, you, you actually can't believe it. Um, but in the same token, I don't feel this is a new situation. Um, and even if you're with somebody right now, it could be that your heart's with that part, okay? And there's almost a, there's a great sense of hopelessness here, you know? Okay, let me draw you another card for this present situation because now I want to know what's going on here. So what is it that you need to overcome because this overthinking and stuff isn't really working for you, you know? please I would really appreciate it didn't really mean a handful but now this is what we have oh there it's back so you've got the ace of ace of swords you've got the ace of ones so you are realizing this is like like epiphanies really you know um somehow 
it could be that a friend or somebody speaking with you, but they, they're giving it to you very straight. They're telling it the truth exactly as it is. Um, it's either or, okay? With this love, King of Wands. And somehow this is a very, this is a very brave choice for you, by the way. This is a sort of connection that you won't generally go for, you know, or um, I feel it might somehow be almost like kind of frowned upon. And there with the Nine of Swords, you, it's like all your logical parts are kind of saying, no, you shouldn't. This is not a good idea. This doesn't fit in with your, um, with, with your life. Um, something is very contradictory here, you know. And um, I feel that it, now I don't really like to go into those sort of areas, but it feels like it could have to have something with um, religion or tradition or family values or some sort of belief. There's some sort of dogma involved. And I feel that it might be more from your side. Um, not everybody's going to approve of this choice. Not everybody's going to approve of this choice. Um, but I feel that it's almost like you've been living your life, probably most of your life, you know, large areas, parts of your life, based on what other people feel, what they should feel, what they approve of, what they don't approve of. And that is sort of like the choice right now. Do I choose um, who I really want to be and feel or the version that I've been doing so long? Because that version is making you very happy. All right. So this is sort of like asking, is it really time for change now? Um, and if this sort of chance, you know, by some sort of fluke ever comes past me again, the decision that I will make. I do, however, feel that the person that you're dealing with, they may not know everything, but they've got a very good idea of what's going on. This situation almost feels like it ends up with you telling them exactly how you feel. But they, it's in a sense, they kind of need to hear it from you. You may have rejected them before, or, you know. And it, it could just be that you were not feeling ready at the time. You know, the time wasn't right. So, you may have given them just enough to keep them going. But now it's like that it's not enough anymore. They, they're kind of slipping away. Um, and... I don't even think that they are slipping away deliberately. I think it's more... Um, it's more an acceptance in their mind that it's probably never going to happen. And that is what you are beginning to sense on your part. But where you might feel that, you know, they sort of maybe, you know, beginning to sort of like wean you off or that sort of thing. Um, they just sort of started to accept how things are probably going to be without even realizing that. Um, so that is very interesting. They want to tell you how they feel. They do. Whether they're going to do it or not, I, I'm not sure. It doesn't seem that way. Um, and it's, it's in a sense, it's like they are they are healing from the commitment that you know that. Where do you, no 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 no. You wanted to be inside. You. Um, They're sort of healing from, you know, the connection that wasn't made. Um, maybe they really thought about it, but they're moving on. They really are. And I think that we both sort of know once they're gone, they're not really going to come back. Okay. Bottom of the deck, 
seven of pentacles and top of the deck the three of cups somehow it's like your friends are supporting the situation positively everybody's actually rooting for this to happen all right get you a message from the universe hey baby hey yo bubble hey baby let's get you a message from the universe see what i've got for you what is that card that flipped over there four of pentacles the star in the upright position you can have it all balance is very possible here they said there's the two cards i should draw for you sure no problem so the four of pentacles and the star in the upright position somehow money can be an issue here maybe they want to share the money with you and you're not so willing and open to that let's see what we've got for you from an oracle card oh another card for so just an overall message for you okay Temperance. Temperance and Leo, no man. No, 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 no. Temperance and the Eight of Cups. You step. There's a there's a movement away from. How would you thought the situation is going to be towards where it's actually going? But somehow it suits your heart quite well. You understanding, you can't. I feel that like, you know, you were trying to sort of buy time maybe, you know? And that trick isn't going to work anymore. That game isn't going to work anymore. Let's get you an Oracle card. And if it resonates with you, you're more than welcome to like, share, comment and subscribe. Navigating by the stars, follow your bliss. Follow your bliss. What is your heart telling you? Not your mind, what is your heart telling you? Okay. 